Well, Rob and Julie, here's what the 15-year-old organizer of the fireworks fight posted on Facebook. He told people to bring large fireworks, there will be no drama, and also to clean up after yourselves. Well, the 15-year-old also told me that this fireworks fight is meant to be just for fun. But neighbors here and law enforcement say they don't see it that way. The city is spending time and money to spruce up Spring Lake Park. And Janet Bonet doesn't want a Facebook event to mess it up. On Facebook, I got an invite to come to a fireworks fight. And I thought, what? A fireworks fight scheduled for the 4th of July. And so far, more than 1,000 people say they're going or they're interested in attending. It's ridiculous. There's no place for that in a neighborhood. When I go do it someplace out in a field, out in the country. Here's video of a fireworks fight in Chicago with people shooting Roman candles and bottle rockets right at each other. Chicago had one last year, so I was like, why not have Omaha have one? and probably be the first or first of the biggest one, biggest fights, you know? Junior Sanchez created the Facebook event. We talked with a 15-year-old high school student over the phone. Yeah, did we have fun with fireworks this year? Well, do you think people could get hurt? Uh, probably. And if they do get hurt? I don't think it's smart to do it. The city prosecutor says police could arrest, charge, or ticket fireworks fighters. If you shoot somebody with a Roman candle in someone's arm or face or something like that and they get a burn mark or a welt from it, that's considered assault. Bonet just wants her quiet neighborhood park to stay that way. I think it could go too far. It's too easy for dangerous things to happen. I did speak with City Councilman Vinnie Palermo, who represents this area, as well as Omaha Police, and they say they do have plans to have extra patrols in the park on the 4th of July to look for that dangerous activity. Now, Junior tells me that he's fine if police show up in case something does happen. Reporting live in Spring Lake Park, Michelle Bandur, KETV Newswatch 7.